And then all of a sudden I said, uh oh, you should have said that. <laughs> right. He shouldn't have said that. And sure enough, next thing you know, he was on charge, him and his wife. Damn. That's real. I remember that. Damn. You know, I'm of the freedom of speech. You know, I'm of the other side of the non disclosure agreements, getting the agreements. From an investment standpoint, I always tell people, you know, we got to stop looking for real estate just because it got granted and, and a swimming pool in the backyard or a nice closet. We got to start moving in neighborhoods where Elon Musk just moved in. So I'm buying something across the street, if that makes sense. You know, I want to be in walking distance from that neighborhood because the property value is going to skyrocket within the next couple of years. Just on mention that he's thinking of moving to guard or to this area will make property values jump up 30%. By the time a store actually gets there, that house will jump from a $200,000 to all of a sudden, it'll be worth $2 million. Mm -hmm. you know? So us as a people, we got to stop looking to buy houses just because it looks like we want it to look. We got to buy, I don't, I would take a raggedy two bedroom house that's falling down as long as it's by SpaceX or, or Tesla or what do you call it? Facebook, Instagram, any one of these billion dollar corporations. Tyler Perry Studios. Like when I first mm -hmm. came to Georgia, I started picking up properties around Tyler Perry Studios, and they were like, you're crazy. That's the hood. You know, Bankhead, all of that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all seen that. Uh, uh, T.I. had announced that he, he showed on his Instagram that he was building. Those yeah. houses. That was one of the most powerful moves I've seen the rapper make in years, y'all. I mean, I really got excited when I saw that. L elaborate on that. Yes, sir. He bought some land in his old neighborhood where he said he grew up in Bankhead, which, by the way, Microsoft just bought in Bankhead. They buying up as much. They buying that all up as best as possible. That is one of the baddest communities in uh, Georgia. You know, right. you be very careful. With, you know, y'all know what bad that neighborhood is. Mm -hmm. So Microsoft made a big move, and they've been over there buying up a, a Bankhead because it's in the West End. You see what I'm saying? Black neighborhood. So all of a sudden, all of a sudden, uh, PI announces. That he bought a bunch of land over there and he'd been building uh he built a shop and said what he built some he's building exactly what i was telling nipsey you got to have commercial on the bottom and uh residential on the top so i overheard i heard him say something about uh community rooms and all of that so that's these are the things that we're supposed to do to build up our community but let me take y'all back do you remember when ti had announced way back in the days maybe about a couple years ago don't quote me on that hmm. he on his Instagram and he was walking out of somewhere and he was like, we need to start buying land. Yeah. And don't buy no, forget that Louis Vuitton and all that other stuff. Y'all, we need to buy land. And then all of a sudden I said, uh-oh, you should have said that. <laughs> right. He should have said that. And sure enough, next thing you know, he was on charge, him and his wife. Damn. You know? That's real. I remember that. Damn. I said, they want us to flip houses. They want us to buy tax liens. They want us to deal with foreclosures. And they want us to be wholesalers. They don't want us knowing nothing about land development. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When the guy announced that he's going to buy some land, he he's building. I was like, wow, I'm proud of this brother. I'm, I don't even deal with a lot of rappers no more. But I said, I'm proud of T.I. Let me go and pick up some records and stuff, you know? Because right. that's something that we all can eat for. So just like me, when I'm building a house, I can go back to the neighborhood and hire everybody. Yeah. I Five, the median home price out here in Georgia is like half a million. So if I'm building a house, I got five hundred thousand dollars to divvy up amongst my people. Okay, you you a concrete man? Okay, how much you charge me to lay the foundation on this house? Oh, fifty thousand. Okay, boom, there you go. How much you charge me to frame it? Oh, you want eighty thousand? Here you go. Okay, how much you charge me to grade the land? You know what I'm saying? Then it gets to a point where, just like I did in low riding, oh, okay, we don't have any black on of this. Okay, well, how much does it cost that concrete machine? You feel me? How much does it cost? Just like when I was in Palm, I was in a city called California City. Okay, I'm having a hard time with these white folks coming to get my dirt. I needed the dump truck. Uh -huh. So I'm like, we already got all these tow trucks. And I'm like, well, call call the tow truck guy and ask him, do we got any dump trucks for me? Next thing you know, we start buying dump trucks. And now that's another big industry in the black neighborhood. But see, is there's a lot of industries in our community that we see it every day. Yeah. Realize, wait a minute. 
I don't need to put my son in college. I need to buy him one of them eighty thousand dollar dump trucks, and he gonna pull in a high six figures a year. And this economy probably seven now. You know what I'm saying? Man, so real estate is booming. So that's why I don't like like when I was at the Boys Rockers event. It was like so many people talking about everything else but land development. They even had a panel discussion about land development, but they wasn't talking about land development. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's like. And I got up and I spoke. I asked a question and then I started, they let me start talking from the audience. And I told them, I said, uh, man, what was the topic? I said, uh, I said, what they do to black people is we throw a, a we throw a conference that says flipping, uh, tax liens, and uh, uh, mm-hmm. back out the house, black people. We throw a conference that say flip land development, there ain't gonna be no black people. In you know what I'm saying? Because we don't know what that means. Hmm. Make sense? They put on it's, it's very strategic what they do. You know, being in, in real estate for so many years, I can see it, I can identify it. And I look at them and I and I listen. Like I threw a, I went into the middle of Los Angeles in Lamar Park into a black business called Healthy African American Families, where only black people attend. And I said, I'm having a land development training class here. I think that was like in 2015. Man, there was so many Chinese showed up in that class. It was, it was Chinese, white people, and the only black people in the room was my partners. Uh, it was just there to support me. You feel me? And I realized, I said, we don't know what that means, and that's the problem. So they 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 pumping all this stuff on TV, flipping this state, flipping that state, flipping. Now you can't even get people to uh, say nothing about a land development because everybody wants to flip. DJ, you don't really know what you're talking about because you don't know nothing about flipping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wow. Do you know who I'm from? The people who's behind me, who taught me the game? Or you mm. these cats are all billionaires, you know. So, you know, just our education. That's what I told the people, you know, at that event. We gotta start listening. And then they will say, uh, uh the flipping conference will be free and we're gonna feed y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get them all in the house. Yeah, the land developer, and we're gonna bring your favorite rapper. <laughs> he said he's gonna be there talking about his flipping. Mm. And now everybody gonna show up, but when it comes down to the uh, land development, it's fifteen hundred dollars just to get into the room. Yeah, and just to get into the convention center, you know. And then on top of that, you go talk to a guy that's teaching a class. It start at twenty five thousand. Yeah. Don't be surprised if somebody tell you a hundred. So most people like they they gave a big event in LA and I was, they had sixteen thousand people in that. I mean it was literally sixteen thousand peers and they packed the whole house out. And I swear I got video on my Facebook page. You can just scroll through. I literally was like one of ten black people in the whole country. Holy shit. That's how bad it is, y'all. But now I am happy that TI announced that. That's why I'm hoping, you know, the best for him. I'm hoping all the other rappers jump on board. You see what I'm saying? Salute T.I. And, and appreciate you sharing that that information because that is very important. That was eye-opening to me, land yeah. development as opposed to flipping. Because even we we get into that. We fall into that. That, that was eye-opening. So subscribe. Hip-hop uncensored is the vibe. So subscribe. Oh, God, driving Sam and riding passenger side. And you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper alive. Hip-hop uncensored is the vibe. So subscribe. Hip-hop uncensored is the vibe. So subscribe. Oh, God, driving Sam and riding passenger side. And you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper alive. Go gang.